Hello, and how's everyone doing today? Today we have the Absolute Jeep 2.4 gigahertz four-wheel drive off-road military Jeep by JJRC. Box there. Now, I picked this thing up right after Christmas on sale for $45. I'm going to go ahead and start off by talking about the good points of this Jeep. The good points are, this is 110 scale, and it is really well put together scale-wise. The body looks excellent on it. You can fit, this is a 110 scale figure. You can fit him right in the seat without having to cut his feet off, so that was nice. Uh, it's got headlights and markers in the front and taillights in the back, four-wheel drive, a leaf spring, kind of like a WPL style. It's got a decent amount of flex, and that, that, that part's okay. Uh, open up the hood, that's where you keep the battery. Uh, the battery is a uh, 500 milliamp, 4.8 volt 5C battery. And it's, uh, they actually stuck it on with a little piece of uh, Velcro, so that's all right. Now, I don't know if mine is just a, I'm pretty sure I got something wrong from, with it from the factory, because when you go to fire it on, when you I'm hitting I'm turning and the wheels are coming on <laughs> I'm not touching the throttle whatsoever and the uh, the trim settings on it when I first got it it was just going full throttle would not stop but every time you fire it on and off you have that problem where it uh, it may turn only one direction or when you do turn the wheels kick on and the power itself is not very good at all. I mean, this is, uh, we're talking about less power than a WPL B1, uh, bang bang steering, normal truck. That, that's the type of power this thing has, which for its weight is very much underpowered. Now the headlights are nice. The taillights are nice. The, the fact that it is a proportional steering, even though when you steer it, the wheels come on. So that's nice. There is a proportional steering servo in there. Well, I'm not going to complain a whole lot about this truck, just for the simple fact is it was $45. I'm going to spend another $15 on an El Cheapo speed controller. Throw uh, one of my FlySky receivers in there. and For under $60, $65 or so, I'll have a, a pretty decent scale military Jeep, which is something I'd like to have in my collection. I'm not real fond of their war frontline paint job and transporter on the side. I'll, I'll probably strip those hit it with an airbrush, uh, put some of the weathering on the panels, the dirt lines, and then uh, use flat white to put the stars back on and get the seats done and everything. And then this will be perfect for what I need. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely do think there, I have, definitely have some issues there from the factory. Well, there we go. Now, now the wheels aren't kicking on yet. <laughs> but I've included a little bit of run video. It's not impressive. This thing <laughs> I don't know if mine was a defect or what, but it just doesn't hardly want to move at all. I'll go ahead and include that. and uh, I'd like to thank you a lot, and uh, please enjoy what little video I do have. Have a good day.